What's up guys, Kevin Cage here with another crypto update. Let's kick it off. So first up, we have shared by Ripple, the Crypto Oasis UAE report, their ecosystem report is live and we are honored to be included as the number of mobile users in the MENA region, the Middle East and Northern Africa areas. The future of financial services is becoming increasingly digital. Now we covered this previously because we did see that Casper was also mentioned in this report right there under global protocols, side by side, Algorand, Hedera, Ripple, Stellar, Tron, Avalanche, Polygon, Cosmos, Tezos, Solana, Bitcoin, Icon, R3, and a variety of other projects, and even the Hyperledger Foundation, which also has Quant. And I think we can see right there XTC or Zinfin under the global protocols. And of course, Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, and anything else I'm forgetting. The UAE is another region similar to Singapore, Switzerland, that is very crypto friendly, even London in the UK. And remember that Ripple has a regional headquarters in Dubai in their financial district. There's over 2,000 other businesses right there. We've also referenced Smart Dubai, building smart cities out there. And of course, you guys have seen that city, which is just absolutely insane. I've never been, but these skyscrapers, the technology, the streets just look crazy. And there's tons of money out there. We can see Zilliqa, Waves, etc. And then under the technology and advisory groups, we can see KPMG, one of the big four, IBM, Oracle, of course, with their quant partnership, all the big exchanges, digital asset infrastructure, a few banks. We have Signum right there, the Swiss digital exchange, Amazon, Alphabet, the parent company of Google, very big groups. We have Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple CEO. There have been over 12 amicus briefs, or I guess the plural version right there, have been submitted. So there are 12 different companies or people that are backing Ripple versus the SEC. It's unprecedented, I'm told, to have this happen at this stage. They each explain in their own unique way the irreparable harm the SEC will do to every facet of the U.S. crypto economy if the SEC gets their way. Stuart Eldorati, General Counsel of Ripple, a dozen independent voices, companies, developers, exchanges, public interest and trade associations, retail holders, of course, over 70,000 plus, all filing in the SEC versus Ripple case to explain how dangerously wrong the SEC is. Now we're seeing groups that used to hate Ripple finally jump on board and file an amicus brief, and I think it's because we're getting closer to the end. And I truly hope that we reach settlement by the end of 2023. I know some attorneys that are a lot smarter than me have speculated that it could be done sooner, maybe even early spring, but we'll see. So Rath Economist mentioned somebody needs to mint an amicus brief on the XRP ledger. That would be utility, and guess what? We can. Also, X underscore Anderson, XRP is not a security, but securities can be tokenized on the XRP ledger. Cough, cough, utility. Next up, just wanted to shout out XRP Darren. You can follow him on Twitter at Fame21More. He is one of the hardest working researchers in this space. I'm not going to read this tweet, but he has amazing information on his Twitter and an amazing YouTube channel. So you can follow him at Fame21More, finding amazing things for RippleNet and on-demand liquidity rails. You can go right to his link tree right there. You can see right here and you can go to his official YouTube channel. So if you're looking for real research guys and actual documents showing which chains are going to be adopted and actual adoption and integrations of XRP mentioned by central banks and governments, highly recommend following Darren. Next up, so looking at the algo price chart, the past two weeks on the weekly chart, we had a nice candle. So just looking at this, and we know it is some speculation with the FIFA World Cup on November 20th. So algo is down at this range as low as 27 cents. Remember that XRP was at 28 cents for its June low, then reaching over 50 cents. Casper was well under 3 cents, and we actually got a push up to 5.5 cents. Now, Algo or Algorand is finally moving this week, so it's great to see that. And looking on the weekly, the past two weeks where we really opened, Algo pumped about 46%. Now, we're still on the weekly, and before we do a top-down analysis, we can turn the lights on. And that 50 cent zone, 50 cents to 51 cents, is a multi-year key level, even tagged as support back in 2019. Notice additional resistance right before the March or February 2020 crash. And you can see it's been a key level for some years. Even all the way across, you can see another weekly wick right there. Zooming in a bit on the daily time frame, we can see using the March-April high to the June low, what we've been doing for QNT, Casper, HBAR, a variety of assets. Friendly reminder that using this March-April high before the crash, drawing the FIB on the low, that QNT made it to the 1618, surpassing its previous high. XRP and Casper went as high as the 382 all the way up here. That would be equivalent to about 54 cents for Algorand. Notice the good news is after being in this range for four to five months, I mean, even from this low, 
We've been here for over 137 days. We finally got the pop, and what do we see? We finally reached the 236 Fibonacci retracement. So now we're going to find out if we can eventually climb, consolidate, and then turn this next level into support and stay over this 40 cent level. Are we going to come back a little bit to 38, 36 cents, back test, consolidate, and then push higher up to the 382 Fibonacci retracement? I'm hoping for additional pumps, guys. It's been well over 100 days, and I do hope that the FIFA World Cup, one of the world's biggest events, can drive some attention towards Algorand, especially with their NFT collection with FIFA Collect. So the biggest football players or soccer players in the world are going to be having collections on Algo. We also saw that Cristiano Ronaldo, as covered previously, has a sponsorship with Binance. So even the biggest soccer players are advertising crypto platforms and projects. Next up by Cowboy Crypto, guys, I find it quite amusing how fast the SEC stopped posting Gary Gensler's calendar once we started going hard on him for meetings with Vanguard and his sloppy dealings. And Johnny Deaton actually pointed that out during a news interview, and I'm so happy he did. Gary Gensler somehow doesn't have time to address over 70,000 XRP holders that the SEC is supposed to protect and represent, yet with his $100 million plus net worth, he has time to have multiple meetings with Vanguard, one of the biggest fund managers in the world that has their hand in every single cookie jar in terms of owning equity in a variety of companies. So I'll have to check the SEC website, but yeah, looking at the screenshot, looks like it was last updated June 2022. Interesting. And I'm sorry, but that's too funny not to share. I hope YouTube shows this video. So big thanks as always, Cowboy Crypto. Next up, we have by Crypto Bull. In October, HBAR was the fastest growing chain by development progress. We can see the 12 fastest growing smart chains by developer progress. We have Harmony One, Flow, Solana, Near, Cosmos, Stellar, Algorand, Chainlink, Elrond, Avalanche, ICP, and Hedera. We have the total number of lines added and Hedera is leading the way. So it seems like Hedera is building. Next up, blockchain media. Looking at Algo as well, we can see compared to Ethereum and Cardano, Algorand's blockchain uses a pure proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. They did update their transaction speed to up to 6,000 transactions per second. Their cost per transaction is still a fraction of a penny, which is important. They reach finality, being the keyword finality, 3.7 seconds, which is phenomenal. And the cool thing about Algo is they're already implementing quantum resistance. So of course, in the future, and even now, quantum algorithms are being monitored. We know that David Schwartz actually tweeted a thread going over this that we did a video before asking, is the XRP ledger safe from quantum threats? And what he said is that they will continue and are monitoring the highest tier quantum algorithms that exist today. And as long as they monitor those and try to build out and stay three, four, five years ahead of that, they should be fine. But it's a valid concern. In slashing, there's no slashing on Algorand, which is great. So if you are staking, looks like you're not going to get in trouble and lose some of your staked balance. You can see storage required, and I guess they consider Algorand and the technology to be ISO 222 compliant. But friendly reminder that digital assets themselves are not ISO compliant, as we said last video. But yes, I do consider XRP Algo, even HBAR, and a few others ISO compliant in air quotes. Now you guys know ILP, the Interledger protocol that is value agnostic. It can send any asset through this protocol and this is super, super powerful. And they actually have ties to the company Ripple. Surprise, surprise. Talked about good connections and bad connections, but safe to say to some very powerful groups such as the Rockefeller Foundation and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation along with Moja Loop, which is actually Swahili for one loop. We can see Stefan Thomas right here for the Interledger Foundation. Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum, was sleeping on Stefan's couch early days as Vitalik was hanging out with the Ripple guys and learning. And of course, that's when he was just getting started. Now, Stefan was the former chief technology officer to the company Ripple. Then he later founded, or was the CEO, of Coil for micropayments, streaming on top of the XRP ledger. With, of course, the Interledger Protocol, ILP. We have a bunch of old videos on this. If you are an OG XRP member, you guys know about this, but just wanted to cover that for anybody new. So Stefan's going to be showcasing the open source project that will enable developers to access this network. You can follow him at JustMoon on Twitter. This is Constantine or Costa Pedic, and we can see his profile. And check this out. As you scroll down, Financial Services for the Poor at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And we've talked about this a lot before, but just to go over this quickly, we can see the chair of the board of directors for Moja Loop up till present day, a member of the board of directors of the Interledger Foundation. This has XRP spelled all over it, by the way. And we can see before that, 23 years at Swift, 
one of the chief architects that architected SwiftNet. 20 plus years at Swift and a board member on Interledger's foundation, ILP, completely created by people at the company Ripple. And of course, Bill and Melinda Gates. So Mojaloop is working on a lot of interoperability throughout Africa and serving the underbanked and unbanked populations, but just wanted to show you how deep this goes. Next up, speaking of Algorand, we have a big announcement in Algorand integration, DAP Play Store. So DAP Play Store partners with Algorand, the world's most powerful and sustainable blockchain network. Noting that Algorand's blockchain is uniquely functional, also known as a carbon negative network or blockchain with its effect on the environment. As the crypto space expands and more blockchain networks are launched, our dear planet faces a great deal of threat through carbon emissions. Remember that XRP, HBAR, and ALGO are three tokens that are actually solving and working and building carbon credit solutions today because of their efficiency. Notice that Bitcoin or the Lightning Network is not going to get the job done. So DAP Play Store will offer exceptional services to users with this technology. They're going to integrate all the decentralized applications or DAPs from Algo's ecosystem into its infrastructure. By doing so, Algorand's DAPs can gain more visibility and traction on the DAP Play Store. We can go to algorand.com slash ecosystem and just understand that there are over 2,000 organizations on top of Algo. You can look at upcoming projects that are building, NFT marketplaces, tools, right on Algorand's website. This is going to be happening for a variety of other networks and crypto projects out there, slowly but surely. Also wanted to touch, Rath Economy and Ripple partner eBanks is expanding into Africa, an eye on mobile money. They will offer a digital wallet in Africa. Remember, we were just discussing Mojaloop as well, with over 1 plus billion people considered underbanked or unbanked. Digital payments will leverage digital commerce. Not clear if Ripple's being used, but eBanks acquired Ripple partner Remesa or Remesa online. Now, to expand on eBanks, which is in fact a Ripple partner, as you can see, and this is shared by Yahoo Finance, this is an older tweet that I shared, shared by XRP Marshall. Uber is in the screenshot with eBanks, which is a Ripple partner. eBanks teamed up with Uber in November to be the exclusive payments processor for PIX. Now, PIX stands for PIX, or the Instant Payments Network, overseen by the Central Bank of Brazil. Ripple met with them back in 2020, and of course, we remember that they were just chosen by Travelex, the first registered bank in Brazil, to use on-demand liquidity and also go into the foreign exchange market. You can't make this up. Um, a couple of videos ago, maybe a couple of weeks, we talked about Reese Bank and ATB Financial, two huge banks, testing XRP years ago, and you can Google that as well. Talk about M-Pesa. Um, there's a few projects that actually link to M-Pesa, I believe, like Stellar, um, and you can see these are Ripple partners with their logo next to them. UBS, Mizuho. Next up by Matthew L-I-N-Y, Fireblocks broadens its digital asset transactions engine product after striking a $1 billion settlement with Checkout. So Fireblocks is one of the biggest in the game. As we go to Fireblocks.com, of course, over 1,300 organizations leverage them in the crypto space. This is one of the picks and shovels of this entire ecosystem that is going to grow Web3. Now, the only thing I don't like about Fireblocks is guess who is an advisor? And I'm pretty sure it is the former SEC chair still, Jay Clayton, who started this entire Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. Another example is the HBAR Foundation is excited to announce that Verde Blocks is coming to Hedera to bring businesses the first end-to-end -end DLT enabled platform for purchasing renewable energy through smart contracts. As we are discussing, these climate friendly networks such as Hedera's Hashgraph, the XRP Ledger and Algorand's blockchain are targeting these types of use cases because of their efficiency, costing fractions of a penny for a transaction and being carbon neutral if not carbon negative. So you can learn more going to HBAR Foundation's website website, reading all about the blogs, and getting a better understanding of how all of this works and some of these renewable use cases. And remember last video, the HBAR Foundation, we mentioned $360 million funding ecosystem projects on Hedera. When you see a project funding hundreds of millions, safe to say, even if we're not happy with price performance right now, they are building for a better future. And last but not least, guys, we have iTrust Capital. This is linked in the top of the YouTube video description. You do not have to use my link, but if you do and you fund your account, you also get $100 as a funding reward. This is for crypto IRAs and 401ks for tax-free investing and trading, and it's free to use. So I've been using them for a couple years at this point. How we compare to competitors? Transparent fees on website, yes. Going to the website, we can click pricing right there at the top. Zero, just a 1% transaction fee for trading. So anytime you buy and sell, essentially just like Coinbase.com. Upfront fee, no. Buy fee, sell fee, just 1%. Account fee or monthly fee or maintenance fee is zero. 
Transfer out fee, zero. Staking, yes, for Polkadot and I believe a few others on the way. Execution and settlement within 30 seconds. So I did just execute some trades with Algo the other day and it went quickly. So that's super convenient and you can go through their Trustpilot and Google reviews, over 2,000 five-star reviews. So if you want to check them out, feel free, linked in the video description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time. If you enjoyed this video, I'd greatly appreciate hitting the like button and subscribing. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, my link tree is linked right in the top of this YouTube video description with all links, crypto resources, and discounts. I'll catch you in the next one.